pass laws and then they go home and live under the laws that they just passed. You know, so I, I gotta ask, if we had a part-time Congress in Washington, would they really get less done? Huh? Well, what we are getting is a lot of hysteria. We're getting a lot of hysteria right now from a president more concerned about the next election and saving programs like Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security for the next generation. Right now, President Obama is campaigning full time against the sequester that he created. He has used school teachers and border patrol agents, Air Force security, capital janitors as part of his portrait of pain. Now he's decided to shut down White House tours. Apparently, now the only folks who can get a tour of the White House are those that contribute half a million dollars or more. <laughs> this president's possible. It'd be laughable if he hadn't taken it one step too far. Dangerously releasing criminals onto our streets to make a political point. When you have a federally sponsored jailbreak, and don't get confused, that's exactly what this is, a federally sponsored jailbreak, you cross the line from politics as spin to politics as a craven form of cynicism. Where everything goes, everything goes, in order to win the next election. But here is my concern. If the president can't handle $85 billion in cuts that he suggested, how could we ever believe that he will tackle trillion-dollar deficits, unfunded entitlement obligations that amount to trillions of dollars more? Our deficit is approximately equal to our GDP. Every dollar we spend Forty cents is borrowed from some bank in a place like China. The resolution to this debt ceiling debacle led to the first downgrading of American credit in the history of this country. And we have a president who refuses to put a single plan on paper that seriously addresses the deficit spending and entitlement reform. Those are but, but, he, but he's more than willing to do a photo op with first responders and teachers to decry the spending reductions that amount to less than 1%, 1% of the total annual budget. If the president is worried about overtime pay for capital janitors, I say, what about the stagnant wages of millions of American workers? What about the one in seven Americans resign to food stamps? What about small businesses and homeowners that can't get loans because God Frank has frozen credit for Americans all across this country? What about the more than 20 million Americans who can't get full-time work due to the most anemic recovery since the Great Depression? Mr. President, your plans to tax and spend our nation to prosperity will fail as spectacularly as the economics you have borrowed from John Maynard Keynes.